Six degrees below zero is cold. In fact, it's colder than it is in hell, hell, Michigan. We're going to discuss the different film choices and what is appropriate for frozen food and ice packaging. Let's go outside. We're only going to do this in one take because it's almost as cold as hell. All plastic resins involve trade-offs. If you go into the supermarket or your florist and you want to buy flowers, you want them to be in a nice, pretty, clear plastic, not the plastic that you have in your ice bags. For all the, the items we're going to discuss today, we're going to use the standard sea store sidewalk test. If you go and get your, your ice in a bag and it's basically a block, you don't want that. You have to drop it on the sidewalk so that you can make everything into nice cubes. Now if you were to put your ice into the polypropylene that you get your flowers in, it's not going to work out because polypropylene, you can hear that, gets very brittle when it's cold. In fact, I've put some polypropylene, some ice into some polypropylene. It's been conditioned overnight. Let's see what happens. Maybe we just need to bump the gauge up, which is what I did with this in-store bakery bag. It didn't even make the night standing still. Now, there are some cases where you can get by with polypropylene, and that's in light-duty bakery applications where it's protected by the box. We're never going to take these and give them the C-Store test. If they did, I don't know what would happen. Doesn't really matter. You can get by with it in some cases. But if we take some garden variety frozen vegetables and put them in polypropylene, let's see what happens here. Well, that wasn't too bad. Let's see if we drop it on the end. Not going to work as well. Maybe what we need to do is trade up to polyethylene. Polyethylene is flexible, it's, it's stretchy, and maybe that would work better. So let's start with a regular old bread bag. This is what's known as a homopolymer or just plain polyethylene general purpose made for bread. Not much better than polypropylene. To make the, the plastic stand up to these temperatures, what you need to do is add another polymer, not just any polymer, but the copolymer should be either EVA, ethylene vinyl acetate, or the right kind of metallocene. This is one of our proven candidates for frozen food and lamination packaging. It's been around for unimproved for about 13 years. Let's see what happens with this. Still intact. Now, I would be remiss if I passed up the chance for a crass commercial message. I don't know how many millions of pounds of this frozen food packaging that we've made just for this zipper here. It cuts across the variable of this film and the resin that's used for the zipper. If you want your frozen food packaging to survive the minus 40 degree temperatures of a blast IQF condition, remember, don't cheap it out with homopolymer. Use some kind of copolymer, either an ethylene vinyl acetate or a metallocene.